Welcome back, everyone. Spectacular sight to show you in the northern Atlantic. Looks like a hurricane, so we've brought in our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons. Not a hurricane, but a pretty impressive winter storm. It sure is. It developed off the east coast. It's moving to the northeast very quickly. Pressure's down into the 950 millibar range, and that's Category 3 hurricane range. And we have had some measurements based on satellite that indicate Category 1 winds, 75 miles per hour or so. All right, so we're talking east coast of the U.S. here, and impacts all the way down into the Caribbean. It's right on the back side of it. It has some strong winds and it's generated a swell that's moving toward Puerto Rico and the Northern Islands. Right now running about 10 feet, but the waves are going to rise overnight and early tomorrow to about 15 to 18 feet before they subside. That is huge considering the distance that we've got here. Uh, let's zoom into this. I want you to break down the structure. Have we already bottomed out on pressure? Are we weakening now? Yeah, it looks like the pressure dropped to about 955 millibars and now it's starting to rise, but it's got a very tight core, much like a hurricane core mm -hmm. right around that and it'll slowly weaken as it moves to the northeast. We often get buoy reports or ship reports, and I can't believe there are even ships that are actually venturing out of this. This has got to be some pretty rough ocean right now. It sure is. We had one ship reporting waves as high as 45 feet, and that same ship reported 50 knot winds. That's about 58 mile per hour winds, uh, and that's on the south side of the circulation. And in addition to that, the pressure is measured about 973 millibars. So they weren't even in the center of the circulation. That's a pretty low pressure. That, sure that is. is very impressive. But you say this was quick to spin up. It may be just as quick to dissipate. That's right. We have some uh, winds over Newfoundland that are running about 45 to 50 miles per hour. They'll rapidly weaken as the system moves off to the North Atlantic the next 24 hours. Nonetheless impressive, huh? It sure is. All right, Dr. Lyons, thank you very much. Always good to see you. Steph, back to you. All right, I want to show you the wind direction. It's pretty cool that you can see it here on our radar. That system, that low pressure they were talking about? Well, there's a counterclockwise flow around a low. So if you just do your hand like this, you're going to get a south wind here off of Canada. And that's what we're seeing. That's from one system. And look at this. Here's our other system that's perched a little bit farther west, but again, a counterclockwise flow. And we're actually getting a south wind. So it's interesting how you have two low pressures next to each other and winds going in opposite direction. But just remember counterclockwise, and then it all depends on where the center of that low is located. So let's have a look at our forecast here along the coast of uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Five day forecast is looking pretty gnarly. It's going to stay windy as well. Uh, we are going to see snow and then places like Portland, Maine, just off the coast. We do have a gale warning from 10 p.m. this evening through Thursday afternoon. Port Clyde to Cape Elizabeth, Cape Elizabeth to Merrimack. We're talking about our seas 8 to 13 feet tomorrow, subsiding 8 to 11 in the afternoon. As you can see, it's going to be pretty raw with our temperatures in the 30s. All right, we have severe weather to talk about. When we come back and we hear that there is some weather warrior photo uh, video home video of a funnel cloud in Reynolds, Georgia. Send it to us here at uh, weather.com slash weather warriors. We'll detail all these storms after a quick break.